For years, ARCHICAD has let us down with their libraries and objects. However, today marks the first day of a brand new chapter. What's going on guys? My name is David Tomic and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining me. On this channel, we talk about technology and architecture. If that's something that interests you, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below and let's get on with today's video. Like I mentioned, for years, ARCHICAD has truly let us down with their objects. They are very, very poorly designed and they are very basic. So when it comes time to actually creating some beautiful renders, it is definitely let down in that side of things. Today I want to teach you how to step up your rendering game in ARCHICAD 24 or in Twin Motion, whichever is your software of preference. I'm going to teach you where to get these objects, where to download them, how to import them into ARCHICAD and also how to import them into Twin Motion. On a more positive note, Twin Motion has become recently available on ARCHICAD, so that means we've been able to step up our renders just that little bit. However, the more and more that you create with Twin Motion, the quicker you realize you run out of objects and that they don't have everything you need. So for example, I was personally looking for some flowers to put into a render and it was driving me nuts that I wasn't able to have good quality flowers in my render. So I went out and absolutely trolled the internet for days to try find the best rendering package or rendering items out there. And I kept hitting wall after wall after wall because there was so many platforms out there that didn't cater to ARCHICAD or they didn't cater to Twin Motion. After a little bit more digging and a little bit more research, I came across a website called cgaxis.com. Now, this video is in no way, shape or form sponsored whatsoever. I found this website and because I spent so long looking for objects, I feel like there are many people out there that have this same situation, so I wanted to share the information with you. If you want to go ahead and jump to the part that you're looking for, I've timestamped everything down below so you can quickly jump to the area you need to see. So let's start with CG Access, how to access it, how to get the absolute best price because it is in no way, shape or form affordable when you dive straight in. However, I actually stumbled upon a very good discount which I'm happy to share with all of you guys how to get that. And again, not sponsored, you're gonna to have to do a few steps yourself. So CG Access has a million and one different objects. And when I say a million and one, I'm probably over exaggerating, but only a little bit. Without over exaggerating, I believe there's probably 10 to 15,000 objects on this website alone that are compatible with either ARCHICAD 24 or Twin Motion in some way, shape or form. That opens up your library to a whole array of new possibilities. And to go even further, it also has building materials, streetscapes, textures, absolutely everything. So if you need all these extra bits and pieces, it has all of that too. But today I'm really only focusing on the objects themselves. So if you were to stumble onto CG Access today and go to their plans, or even just scroll through their website, you realize that every object is 12, 15, 20 US dollars. It isn't cheap and it definitely isn't affordable to go through and download and pay for each of these objects individually. If you go to their plans, you can see that you can get a one year subscription for 399 US dollars for unlimited downloads. $399 is a lot of money to spend on objects that you may or may not use. Like I said before, fortunately, I actually discovered a way to get this significantly cheaper. So if you go to the free collection in the top hand bar, type in your email address, they'll send you a link to download a bunch of free objects. This is personally what I did first to download it and test out if these objects would work in ARCHICAD and how they would work before I committed to buying anything. However, when they actually did send me that link and I started downloading it, in the link they discounted that yearly rate from $349 I believe it is to $59 US which is equivalent to 85 Australian dollars at the current conversion rate. So 85 Australian dollars for a one year subscription of unlimited downloads isn't a bad deal. Personally, I was looking at downloading about four or five different objects from this website that were about $12 each anyway. So to be able to spend a little bit more to be able to download absolutely everything made it definitely worth my while. Now it doesn't really matter what kind of objects you're looking for. If it's anything from Christmas decorations to portable audio or medical supplies to film studios, 
It can be absolutely anything. It doesn't have to be your standard kitchen tables, dining chairs, bedrooms. Having said that, they have some amazing options there too. Again, I know this is sounding very sponsored, but absolutely not sponsored whatsoever. I'm just genuinely excited that we're gonna have a huge array of objects at our fingertips now to use whatever way we want. Now, CG Access doesn't come without its flaws. Unfortunately, there are a few. First of all, it isn't directly designed to work with ArchiCAD and Twinmotion. You have to do a little bit of working around. Having said that, it's very simple to work around. To be able to download some of these files, you're gonna need a pretty solid internet connection. Some of them are a couple megabytes, others are a couple gigabytes. So if you were going to download everything off their servers, you would be using hundreds and hundreds of gigabytes to download it all. And every single object that you download, be it 100 megabytes, 200 megabytes, takes a little bit of time and then takes a pretty big toll on your computer. What I personally found was I tried to incorporate some flowers into a design which required a lot of flowers. This absolutely crushed my computer. The twin motion software crashed so many times and almost got to the point where the file was no longer recoverable. So there is definitely limitations to using too many of these excessively large, highly, highly detailed objects. Okay, so if you wanted to use these objects in ArchiCAD 24 directly, how would you go about it? Well, if you downloaded one of these objects today and try to drag and drop it directly into ArchiCAD, you'd find nothing happened. Most of the files that come from CG Axis are either a Cinema 4D file, a V-Ray file, an OBJ file, or FBX file. None of these files are compatible with ArchiCAD without some sort of add-in. So if you quickly Google ArchiCAD 24 Cinema 4D add-on, you can download the plugin to be able to add any Cinema 4D objects into ArchiCAD 24 directly. I'll leave a link down below if you wanna download that add-on. What I personally found though is when you try to import a C4D direct file into ArchiCAD, it really messes with things. It just creates it as air and fine lines. So all your materiality gets lost and it becomes a really big burden. The best way I've found to import it into ArchiCAD directly is to import the V-Ray Cinema 4D version of this object. So all you have to do is literally drag that Cinema 4D object directly into ArchiCAD 24, let it load, go through the dialog boxes, and you have your object. Unfortunately, one of the drawdowns here is the simple fact that it imports it into ArchiCAD 24 as a full white textured object that you cannot change individual areas of the material. This is where Twin Motion really steps it up, and I personally believe that importing them into Twin Motion first and completely leaving them off ArchiCAD if you are able to do so is the best way to do it. So if you have Twinmotion 2020.2 open, this is the latest version available. If you aren't on that version, feel free to update at your own leisure. You are able to directly import these objects by going to the import option, importing the object from your library and then directly loading it in. I've attempted all four of these options that come with all of these objects, the C4D, the V-Ray, the OBJ, and the FBX. By far, the FBX files are flawless. When you import the FBX files, it imports them as a folder with individual categories, every single different color. So for the bed that we're importing here, for example, every different section of that bed is a different object in ArchiCAD that can be turned off, turned on, or rematerialized. So if you don't like the colors that come from CG Axis objects, you can change that in Twin Motion. You can also scale individual parts of this, turn them on, turn them off, do as you wish. And then to make things so much easier, you can add them to your user library. So if you wanna go and add those later down the track or in another project, they're already saved to your user library. The biggest downfall though with CG Axis is the fact that every object is named on their website. However, none of the objects come named when you download them. They just become CG Access model, blah, 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 blah. It's really, really difficult when you download 10 or 20 of these objects and you're trying to remember which one is which. So you're gonna have to go through, open them up, rename them, 
probably delete all the extra files you don't need so it doesn't take up excessive space on your computer and then import them and create a template that is worthwhile for what you need. Anyway, that's all for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that like button down below so the YouTube algorithm pumps it out to more people. If you wanna see more of these videos, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below. And as always, I'll see you next Monday.